Hello and welcome to the show. Today I am playing a game that you've probably never heard of. Uh, this is VRC Pro. It is a remote control car racing simulator. I think it's pretty much the only one of its kind. And, well, look at it. it. It looks absolutely amazing. I played this game, it came out a long time ago. Many years ago. I'm not even sure how many. I played the original version of this game ages ago. Um, and it was a pretty good game. I just completely forgot about it. Uh, until recently. Uh, oh, oopsie, I've clicked a thing. Go away. Um, where an old, like, I was clearing out my email inbox and an old email reminded me of this. And I went and downloaded the latest version of it. And holy crap, it has changed. Look at the detail. The key to a good simulator is in the detail. Look at the detail of this. It's, re it's really very, very good. Um, not only graphically wise, you've got loads of customization options on this thing. Uh, I'm currently messing about with an off-road truck, so if we... Uh, I don't know how to select the, by class. Um, but yeah, you can you can choose your chassis. Uh, oops, I'll just cancel that. You can choose what motor you use. So you could basically build, to a point anyway, you could build up your own real-life remote control car. Um, I'll show you mine, or one of my older ones. They don't quite have the current one that I race with, but uh, I'll show you my one a little bit later. I'm going to start with one of the stadium trucks because I love these things. I, I always wanted to drive race uh, off-road buggies, uh, off-road trucks. There was, unfortunately, I don't want to go select track. What am I doing? I want to go practice. I knew it was on that side somewhere. Uh, I always wanted to race trucks, but uh, there was nowhere local that ever raced them. So this I get to drive. I get to drive. Uh, ooh! Uh, a stadium truck, and these are huge Enjoy fun to, uh, <laughs> to mess around with. Well, I've rolled it within... Now, that's this, this typical me. I'm not sure if that's a record. What is our fastest roll in a video from setting off? I don't know. I know our fastest crash has taken, like, whoa, front flip. We stuck it. Um, I know our fastest crash is about five seconds. No, it's less than that. I can't remember what it was now. It was on the GTA videos. I got distracted. Um, anyway, let's talk about remote control car racing uh, or remote control car racing game that this is. The first thing is the camera angle. Will take a while to get used to if you are not used to driving vehicles like this. Uh, even I'm not used to driving vehicles at quite this sort of quite this distance. Uh, where I race is a much smaller place than most of these tracks uh, on here will be. So I'm like the, the the track where I you won't, won't have the car as far away from you uh, in the background as you do on this. Uh, so Left, even for right, me, this is, takes six, a little bit of getting used to this seconds. sort of perspective. To somebody who has never really raced, or somebody who's never raced remote control cars, this will be very bizarre. <laughs> Playing from this viewpoint, sort of this third person viewpoint, will take a bit of getting used to, uh, and will be yeah, will be quite odd. But you will get the hang of it eventually. It just takes quite a bit of practice, to be honest. Now, I'm controlling this with a 360 controller. I really would not recommend trying to drive one of these with a keyboard. It doesn't really work, <laughs> if I'm honest. It's You can do it, but it's pretty damn tricky. They're not, they're des these are designed to be very, very realistic. And remote control cars aren't controlled with a keyboard. I'm, you probably could program right, it, but even three, then it wouldn't handle very well. Seven, if you tried to control seven, it with a keyboard. So I'm driving it on a 360 controller at the moment. There is a little adapter that you can buy for this game. I'm not sure, I think it's about... 10, 12, something euros. So you can plug a real, your real remote control into your computer so you can drive the vehicle with an actual real remote control, which I think is kind of cool. Oh, that was a, that, I think there's some bonus points for style <laughs> on that one there. Uh, right, shall we try and get a, oh, I've got more bonus points for style. I, I should be getting style points uh, on this game. I'd be doing much better than currently trying to get a clean lap of this track. We right. can do a clean lap, 20, honestly. I, I, I can drive-ish. Oh, we've overshot the landing there. Oh, we've hit the inside. There's not a particularly nice curve. So when it comes to off-road driving for these, you've got a lot more things to oh, take into consideration. I.e. jumps. That very well demonstrated why you have to worry about jumps. Not just worrying um, about sort of the perfect racing line as such. You've got to worry about doing that sort of stupid thing, which I've fallen off the track. Um, yeah, you've got to kind of position your car correctly for these jumps. Not take the jumps like I am here, which I'm doing quite a lot of this because I'm not used to it. I'm... oh. Bugger it, I'll just press re space bar, have my car marshalled. Um, yeah, you've got to be really careful with your jumps. You've got to line up your jumps. You do not want to be steering as you go off the end of a, uh, end of a ramp. That's what gets you in trouble. That's why I keep rolling my vehicle off these ramps. Because I'm just simply not used to having to deal um, with well, the ramps. You've also got to perhaps think ahead of where your car is going to land. So that was going to land in there. It was inevitable. Um, but with these, these back 
four jumps. They're a great example. I can be a little bit slower over this first one and try and split them in two. I could have been if I hadn't slid off the course. Um, there we go, we're back. Um, I can be a bit slower, so I take sort of take them in pairs, or I can try going faster and take the first three in one go and then worry about the final one. Uh, if you do that, of course, you run the risk of firing it off into the chair, which <laughs> you saw earlier on. I am struggling to talk and drive. It takes a lot of concentration to do this. Oh, that's that was that was an example of what not to do. You don't really want to be landing on top of a jump. I don't know huge amount about off-road uh, racing for these, but I'm Let's assuming landing on top of a jump is bad. Seems to be losing quite a bit of speed doing that. Oh! <laughs> Perfect landing on my roof. Okay, let's go for a couple of clean laps with this. Oh, we just understeered off completely. Now, I don't know. I've, having never driven one of these, I don't know quite how realistic this is. I can't tell you it's ultra-realistic. I'm going to say, though, the touring car is blooming close. So I will presume that this is also very, very accurate. Uh, which is... It makes it a little bit of a challenge. These can be a bit... <laughs> Remote control cars can be a little bit weird to get used to. Even on this dirt surface, this has a hell of a lot of grip. Uh, it will slide about a little bit, which I wish it wouldn't. Um, but yeah, even on dirt, this thing has an awful lot of grip. On carpet, they have humongous levels of grip. And yeah, it, it's, it's an odd thing getting used to. Also, you very, very rarely use the brakes. I find myself using the brakes a bit more with this. Uh, I think it's just to do with the surface, but you you very very rarely are on the brakes, which is true for remote control cars. I will go a five minute race and perhaps never use the brakes. What you use is you let off the accelerator and you use effectively drag brakes to slow your car down. Uh, you can carry so much corner speed that you don't need to worry about trying to use. Oh dear, we've done a triple. I think we did a triple barrel roll in that. Come on, we can climb out of there. We can rescue that ish. Okay, round here. What's the highest speed I've achieved? Not very far. This is not a real track 18, for uh, top speed. It's quite twisty seconds. and quite nasty, and I'm quite terrible with this sort of vehicle. Uh, all right, swing it in there, and then over the first three. Nope, off the. <laughs> not quite got that depth perception going on at that final section over there. That's that's like, them jumps are really quite nasty. Okay, here we go. I want a clean lap to finish off with the stadium yeah, truck because this 14, is a really cool car 20, that I love messing about with. Right, seconds. over the ramp, land it. I did not tell you to do that. I wanted you to go the other way, you see. <laughs> oh, I've got to be careful of that. I can't I can't run the curb there. Oh, we've... Oh, oh sorry. Run away, quick. Nobody saw that. Leave you that be. The space bar. Uh, what are we going to go? I'll, go to, I'll save the touring cars till last. Uh, I will go have a look at another vehicle that I've never driven before. The... Nitro sports car. These are the fastest cars of the game. These things are scary fast. Uh, sure, we will use whatever. Uh, we will we will use uh, what are we looking at an intercept NR8. Not heard of one of these before, um, but yes, we will give it a go. We will go on the speedway. This is the only tarmac track that isn't an oval, so we will head here again. Uh, this is a this is a fairly simplistic circuit, uh, so I hopefully I can get the hang of it fairly quickly. It is all the bright green. Right, let's go for a practice. Let's see if I can scare myself silly with this car. Uh, right. Fire! Woo! Okay, yeah, this... Uh, okay. <laughs> this is a little bit quicker than what I'm used to. Bloody hell, this thing is fast. Um, okay. Woo! No. Oh, back it up. I want to go... Sorry, the space bar will be quicker. Um, oh, crap, I've already hit 83 kilometers. I'm, I'm terrified of this car. Holy crap, it is quick. And it doesn't have as much steering as I quite hoped it would. Okay, fire it down the front straight. Um... Ooh, okay, we've got a break earlier. Now the problem, the only problem I actually have with this game is to do with the fixed cam, to do with the fixed camera angle. Doesn't quite look in the place that I would be That's looking one, if 18, I was driving the car. 16, it doesn't quite look far enough in front of it, so you get caught out like that by <laughs> the corners. Now this is made worse, of course, when you go to a faster car. Um, I, if I'm if I'm using the 10th scale electric cars that are a little bit slower than this, it's uh, not as bad. But, uh, oh, bugger, yeah. <laughs> it's just not quite looking far enough ahead for for my liking. But let's try and get around this banked corner without running the wall. That would be kind of... No, I can't. <laughs> doesn't quite turn. It's got sort of... It's a little bit weird handling this. It's kind of... It's really... It's got a weird turning going on. It's got a really weird like turn into the corner. Like, it starts to kind of grip and then the back starts to slide. But because it's a remote control car that has an awful lot of grip, it doesn't really slide properly. So it's doing this little twitchy dance 
down the road. That's something I'm certainly not used to. Uh, I have, there is a million setup options on here that I have no clue. I could mess about with buttons. I haven't. I haven't played with any of them yet. Um, yeah, there's lots of buttons you can press, press uh, to do your setup. Oh, <laughs> landed it. Uh, whatever it was, I landed it. Let's, let's, let's have a marshal rescue us from that. Okay, speed. How are we going? It's 103 kilometers an hour. The fastest I've got this. Uh, this is this is scary fast. I my brain is struggling to keep up with the <laughs> my brain is struggling to talk and keep up with this car all at the same time. There is much to do, and that is some really weird twitchy going on. I think we've run wide there every single time. No, that's not worked either. Okay, around here. Let's start. Let's get a good lap this time. I've already balls it up before I even hit the first corner. Okay, we'll, we'll, oop, there will be some brakes involved with this one, I feel. I can get away with it with the touring cars and the trophy trucks. Probably not with this uh, being, f well, I know it's not being flat out everywhere, but it's uh, not using the brakes. This could probably do with it into this corner. That's a really nasty corner. But it's kind of, it's, it's oddly sort of satisfying and rhythmical once you get things right. You, ooh, once you kind of got the hang of a car, you will get into this rhythm that's oddly hypnotizing. And you can't really stop. You'll find yourself, you've done sort of 50 or 60 laps with, the, with one of these cars before you've realized it. Just go, I mean, the laps are very, very quick. Even on the bigger tracks, you tend to have very, very quick laps. So the tracks are pretty tiny and the cars are ridiculously fast. Um, so yeah, you'll go around the track many, many times in a Left few minutes well, and yeah you kind of get hypnotized by it a little bit just trying to go faster and faster um, you know, in my case just make less and less mistake my controller is also making a funny squeaky noise with the trigger sorry if you can hear that I don't know what's going on with it right around the bank turn not got the hang of that corner at all um, yeah was getting a little bit better there oh we've gone into orbit we're fine Whoa, we're in the pit lane <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, since we're here, can I show you? Are you going to. Oh, probably not going to show me because uh, I jumped the track. I was going to show you the options for the tuning of all the stuff that you can do because uh, I'm not doing a very good job of showing me driving this mental machine. Oh, I got a corner correctly. We'll just run the wall. I mean, that's fine. Oh, we're on the orange stuff. Uh, <laughs> very, very bright track markings, this one. Okay, come on. Let's get a good lap. I'm sort of. Oh, so, such a twitchy car, this one. I want less of the oversteer, please. Less of the oversteer. I don't like having a car with oversteer ever. I've talked about it a few times with Forza and stuff. It's the same goes for remote control cars. Cannot stand having a remote control car that has oversteer. Much rather have an understeery one than an oversteery one. It's just what I can deal with. Have we got no reverse? No, we don't. All the other vehicles have had reverse. Um, I'm going to try and show you the tuning options for the vehicle. Um, but it doesn't want to show me them. Well, screw you, game. Let's get around here and let's try not to have a crash. Oh, we've very nearly had a crash. We have had a crash. Pit lane is uh, tricky. Oh, bugger it. <laughs> no, I wanted to go... Oh, God damn it. I, I think if I go the wrong way around the track, it's not going to let me go in the pits. I think that's what I tried earlier and it failed. Come on, go around the... Run the... Oh, I found... The, mm, don't think I was supposed to be over here. God damn, this car would take some getting used to. <laughs> 18, yeah, it handles a lot differently 18, to my one. Seconds. Right, parked. There we go. All of the options. Yes, lots and lots and lots of options um, that you can fiddle and play with until your heart is content. And you could try out setups on here and then try and apply them to real life. Uh, there, are, there are real life. There's plenty of real life tracks uh, on this game. Uh, I will explain the pricing at the end because it gets unbelievably confusing. I'm not going to try and explain it while I'm driving a mental machine around here. Oh, that, yeah, that back end of this car is just too twitchy for me. However, I'm actually on a half decent run. This is not the perfect lap, but it's actually going to be a clean lap, which is nice. Oh, God, this, this is not an easy car to drive. This is not a cut the car to start with, okay? If you, if you go and download this game after watching this video, I mean, you can try and start with this. I would not recommend it. <laughs> this is a mental crazy car. I quite like it. I like the challenge of driving it. Dear God. Um... So yeah, that's the uh, nitro car. Can we do a can, can we, we do a celebratory donut? Hey, there we go. All right, let's go. Let's go build my car, shall we? Well, my old car, I should say. My new one isn't on here, sadly. Um, all right, yeah, that's the uh, the eight scale nitro cars that are mental crazy, and then you have the uh, tenth scale nitro, which are just a little bit slower. I'm going to have a look at the tenth scale electric touring cars. This is what uh, I run. We can select it, we'll go for these, and I will build a new one from scratch. 
uh, we'll just select whatever. We'll go here, and I'll show you the yeah, I'll show you the car customization, the car building. There is so so much detail in this game; it is uh, incredible. You can zoom in on all of the nice shiny parts. Uh, you can also actually customize this entire workspace. So, for example, if I click on the right bits, that's not the right bit. Cancel that. Go away. Is it accessories? Yes, here we go. So, for example, if you wanted to, um, you can change uh, what stand your vehicle is on. Uh, I think I need to get the subscription thing to the game to get all of these uh, parts. No, we can't do that. Can we do? We can't do any of the lights. Uh, pit towel, we can do these. So you could change what manufacturer pit towel you have. Yeah, it's just <laughs> the detail of this game is incredible. Uh, let's go and do it. How do I build the car? If I double click on the car, that's how you do it. I remember what I'm doing. Uh, right, so here is our car in our little garage. If we go chassis, we have a selection of various vehicles to choose from. I'm going to use uh, this is my old car, a hot body cyclone. Uh, yeah, I have a Serpent S411 at the moment, which sadly isn't in the game. They have the nitro version, they don't have the electric version. So I'm going to use my old, my old car. The, the Serpent, I prefer quite a lot to the hot bodies. I, I had quite a few problems with this vehicle where, <laughs> when I ran it in real life. Uh, Motor-wise, these are the motors that we used to run um, at our club. Again, they don't have the right motor uh, that, I, that, I, that we would use. Um, people use these at our club, so I'll put that in. Um, yeah, 13 and a half turn motors are what we used to use. We stopped using them because they were too fast for the place that we were racing. It was just too small of a track. That we ran on with far too fast of cars meant lots of broken bits. Uh, that was a similar speed controller. Batteries, the most powerful ones, yes. Wheels, we'll just have that, sure. Everybody runs with dish wheels pretty much. Uh, tires, we will not go drifting, we will have proper racing tires. Transponders, just to count your laps, whatever. And then body shell, what shall we run with? Can I get one close to what I have at the moment? Probably not, because I don't know, I don't think we've got any of. Uh, no, none of these. That's probably closest, to be honest. No, not necessarily the most exciting of, uh, of body shells. There's an interesting racing truck one here. Uh, you would be surprised the difference a body shell makes on a on a remote control. Well, I don't know if you'd be surprised or not. It's like if you think of a real a real life car, the aero parts on a real life car make a huge amount of difference. Um. So yeah, I'm not I, I'm not sure if it is it comes as a surprise or not. But you can oh, with with an old car I had like swapping between body shells, I could make sort of half a second a lap difference, and that's on sort of a 10 second lap, which is quite a lot if you look at, put it in perspective. Um, yeah, Ooh, I don't want to do, I want to select track. The, the body shells can play a really really big part on the cars. We will go to the uh, only indoor track. Actually, gets a little bit fiddly trying to find this for some reason. Uh, I have to do it. A slightly wonky way, but we'll get there in the end. Um, here we go. This is uh, an indoor track, a carpet track, so the same surface that I'm used to running on with a car that I am used to used to using. I should be better here, I hope. Uh, right, we bumped into a wall instantly. Um, Welcome to this track. Okay, use Enjoy all of the racing. speed down the back straight. I'm now I'm used to driving that twitchy monster, and now I'll come back to a car with actual grip. Um, okay, so this track is quite a simplistic track. Uh, it's only a few corners. Again, where where I where I am used to racing, a lot smaller track, a lot more confined track, and a lot more corners. Probably double the number of corners, to be honest. Um, this is a lot faster, a lot flowing. A lot more flowing, that's better English, uh, of a track. Uh, I've got, you still got to concentrate. It's an incredibly simplistic track if you looked at the layout of it. But uh, you really have got to concentrate. Uh, it's just a tiny, tiny mistake. It, with a On a normal racing game, you will get away with a, a, a very small mistake Lap most three, times. Maybe on a street circuit. Um, but uh, on a street circuit, you might have more problems. But here, just a tiny, tiny mistake with one of these cars. You will have a problem. Uh, there is, I guess you could say it's like a street circuit in a way that it's walled in. There is, there is literally no runoff area anywhere. Uh, and if you think of sort of the uh, the scale speed, if you like, that you're passing these walls, it is, yeah, it is weird driving cars this fast. <laughs> it's kind of weird playing a game, to be honest. Of driving these cars, it does handle. This car does handle very similarly to. Uh, the, the actual Six, car in real 12, life. Of course, you know, there are always variables. Seconds. What sort of tyres I'm running are probably going to be different on here. 
Um, and yeah, this is a very different track. The carpet condition of this venue, I would imagine, is quite a lot better than the cheap Lap stuff seven, that has 12, random bumps in it that, <laughs> that I end up racing on. But um, yeah, it does seem, it feels like a very, very realistic game, which is good. You want all of that detail and all of that realism when it comes to a simulator. Eight, uh, much 12, nicer to have a car that I'm used to. Oh, not quite got the hang of that corner there. Oh, okay, got to be careful uh, on the inside of that curve as well. Uh, it's much nicer driving this, though. Oh dear, I could just get into it. I could just lap for Lap many, nine, many 13, hours. Point, Maybe 15, not hours. Um, yeah, just time flies when you're doing this. Once you've got it into a rhythm and you're doing sort of laps within a couple of tenths of each other and you just keep going and going, it's it's Lap odd. 10, 12, <laughs> it's, it's very hard to explain to somebody seconds. that hasn't played it or or driven one in, uh, in real life. Uh, can I get... I want to get an 11-second lap. That's kind of my goal at this track. I have done it. A Lap couple of times. Is uh, get three, around there. Ah, just about. I've missed. Bullsed up that that sort of corner. I was going to call it a hairpin. Yeah, I guess it kind of is. Ooh, around there. Come on. What lap time? Lap I can't 12, look at 12, the lap times. 11, Twelve six. zero is my fastest. Oh, screw you, game. Uh, ooh, we've gone a bit wide there. Uh, I just can't take my eyes off it for a second trying to look at the. <laughs> Looking at any of the information around the screen is absolutely pointless. Just can't look at it. Ooh, around there, and around there, and then down the back straight. Not quite. Can't quite do flat out. Just sort of letting off the throttle a tiny bit to get around there, and again, same around that corner. Oh, no, that was too much steering. Um, oh, we can't quite do the spin around. I can't quite get it to actually... Like, you saw the, the nitro car. I could get it to do sort of a little donut. Can't seem to get this car. This has got too much grip for me to even slide it, which is, well, is how I like it. Uh, but 15, you can't kind of get a quick recovery like when you're pointing the seconds. wrong way. Normally, you could boot it and get it to sort of spin. These cars are all four. Well, this is four-wheel drive. Um, the nitro car, I believe, is rear-wheel drive. Like 16, I would, I would imagine the buggy. I'm not actually sure what that could be: two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive, um, or the truck, I should say. But yeah, this I cannot get it to to oversteer. Uh, which means I also can't get it to recover. Lap but that's 17, fine. Have I got... 12, uh, I still haven't done it. Oh, I won't do it driving like that. Come on. Round the corners. Speed, 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 speed. Let off a little bit. Oh, hug the inside. That might have been a little bit too slow through Lap there. 18, 12, nah, I'm, point, I'm stuck seconds. in the 12.3s. Oh, we've gone over a bump. Ah, this lap's gone again. Uh, the one thing I do like... I've, I always say I like short tracks in games. The reason being is that if you make a mistake... It doesn't take very long before you can have another attempt. If you take Nurburgring, for example, if you make a mistake on the first corner, you've got to wait between 8 and 12 minutes, depending on what you're driving, what class you're driving, uh, to try that corner again. And the rest of the lap is screwed up anyway. Whereas if you make a mistake on the first corner at Iberian, you lose 50 seconds uh, before going to try again. So, yeah, I always like short, shorter tracks in, in games. And, yeah, this sort of thing suits me. If I balls up one of the corners here, oh, well, 10 seconds later, I'll, 12 right. seconds later, I'll have another go, see if I can do it better. Um, which I think is why it's actually so addictive, because you get to kind of rectify your mistakes almost instantly. You don't have to wait a, a, such a long time to get the next lap. Yeah, that felt like a good lap. 11. Yes, 11.6, fastest 11. lap I've done with these guys. In fact, I did 11.9 the lap before, and now I just keep going and getting faster and faster. No, I will stop eventually, possibly. Wee! <laughs> can I get another? Ah, oh, that, that was a terrible 12. lap. Um, so yeah, there we go. That is... And is VRC Pro. Now, I will briefly try and explain the pricing system while driving around. This will probably result in me crashing quite a few times. Games, it comes a little bit confusing on, on, the, on the whole pricing. So what I'm playing at the moment is the free part of the game. Yeah, it gives you uh, eight tracks. Seconds. Two of them are ovals and four of them are the dirt tracks. It doesn't give you a huge amount of tracks, but it gives you enough. It gives you a taster. Uh, and the tracks that there are are fairly simplistic, but it gives you an idea of, of what the game is like, and it gives you a few cars to mess around, and you can kind of modify them a little bit, uh, which is fine. You know, it's, it's, the free bit is basically a demo, if you like, for this game. Check it out, see if you like this kind of thing. Um, then you kind of have two options. You can either pay, I think it is about 12 yeah, euros, 17, I think this game's all priced in euros, 12 euros seconds. per track. So you can download individual tracks and individual cars um, for, for that price, or I think, I think I've read this correctly, or you can pay a monthly subscription, which is, it depends on how many months you do it, if you do it for an individual month at a time, I think it's about, was it nine euros a month? I've completely forgotten. I think it's around that sort of price per month, and then you unlock everything. So if you just want to unlock a specific track, 
or a specific car, you can pay for that uh, on its own, and then I presume you get that forever. Or you can pay a monthly subscription and unlock everything. I don't know why you would unlock individual things rather than just have the subscription, Left but that's the way that it works, I think. Seconds. It's kind of a, it's a little bit of a weird pricing system. I would definitely recommend you go and check this game out, though. As I said, all of the things that I've been playing and messing around with at the moment have been the free stuff. All of this is completely free to have a go with. Left you will 30, want a Xbox 14, a, a wired 360 controller seconds. or another form of controller. His keyboard really won't work, or it'd be really quite tough uh, on a keyboard, and it will probably take you a while to get used to this game, get Left used to this this camera 12, angle. And there might be a way of changing seconds. the camera angle if you want to go for a more traditional third-person view behind the car. I would imagine that would be very motion sicknessy with the speed that the scenery goes around. Uh, <laughs> I imagine that'd be quite hard to drive it from, to be honest. Um, however, yes, that is it for this video, guys. So thank you very much for watching, and until next time. Goodbye. That was a really silly crash into that wall there.